because of riots. I'd left the country before any riots. I held 100,000 people strong, peaceful protests. Riots kicked off in Liverpool that were nothing to do with me. Every one of my videos that I've done so far have clearly called for peace and calm. You're just lying. You're trying to throw it on my lap, so are the government. But what you've done with my children, you upset their holiday, you ruined their holiday, okay? Now you're all saying I've, I fled Cyprus, okay? Yeah, you've, you've broke up my family holiday. So I want to ask you the question. You come where my children were and you give their location. Is it, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Is it fair that I do that to you? See, I'm not a morally bankrupt wanker. You know I've got images of everyone in your family. You know I know the locations of where you are. Yeah? I'm asking you, is it fair for me to do that? If the answer's no, then stick to a rule book, lads, yeah? You know when I've done my investigation to a five-part series of Muslim rapists, and I had three girls saying they're rapists, when I went to find those men, do you know many, how many times we had surveillance on them there with their kids or their missus or their mum? And we didn't approach them. And do you know how much that costs when you've got a surveillance team, security team? Do you know we put that, left it? Nope, he's with the family. Nope, kids are there. Nope. Unfortunately, yeah? Because it's nothing to do with those innocent members of the family. Certainly not to be recorded or to leave everlasting damage in their minds when you're confronting people to ask them questions. Now, you haven't thought about that with my kids, yeah? Who have been upset for days now, who you've ruined their whole event. Again, I'll ask you, is it fair? So to the journalists, I'm not on the run, stop lying, yeah? I'm due in court on October 28th and 29th. That's when I'm due in court at the High Court of London. Stick the date in your diary, people, yeah? That's when I go on trial for freedom of the press, for showing you the truth of how corrupt and how they lie. But to any other journalists, I will find you, yeah? So please think, is it right? If I'm sat, for example, with my mother, and you want to question me about is it right to come up and record her in front of my mum? And if it is right, expect me to go to your mum's. Yeah? Daily Mawada, please, get in contact. I don't want to have to do this. Yeah? I really don't. I don't think it's right. But you have to deal with what you've done. Your docs endangered my children. I can show you the hundreds of threats there are now aimed at them and me as a family from your article. You could have wrote your article, you could have blurred everyone else's faces out, and you didn't have to give the location. That's what you could have done. You've purposely done it. So sit your wives down and explain to them what you've fucking done. Yeah? Explain to them that if there is a problem, it's because of your immoral behaviour. It's your work, okay? So any other note journalists who are thinking about trying to confront me, you do it in front of my kids, I'm coming for you. Yeah? And you've set the moral compass and the guidelines here. Yeah? You've set, do your job, lads. Go and do your job. Don't photograph my children and don't give the location of where they are and in danger. Because if you do, then you've set the rules of what's fair game. You have, yeah? And it's wrong. It's totally fucking wrong. I would walk past my biggest enemy in the street. If he's with his kids, I'd keep walking. It's just men's rules. You use no, like, to your wives, let them know. To the wives who were photographed yesterday, know they've been photographed to your daughters. I ain't sharing that online. I just wanted to give you a peace of mind to think about what you've done to my family, yeah? I'm sure you had some sit-down meetings with your kids. Because it's not nice, is it? It's not nice, yeah? Don't play stupid fucking games because you'll win stupid prizes, right? So you're on notice. Any journalist, I will find you, yeah? Just act respect. If you want to question me, question me. Do not give the locations or photograph or do anything in front of my family, right? Now have a good day, everyone, because as you can see, I'm their target, but you're their target too. I'm their target because I show, I've just read an article now, they want to make it against the law to share footage of, of rioters. What they mean is, Muslim rioters, because they haven't shared it, the only people who shared it is us. Yeah? That's why they want to control it. Muslims kicking off across the whole country. I saw some Muslim, stupid Muslim lawyer, the Muslim lawyer from who represented those wrong who attacked the police officers, saying, I need, why, where's my video calling for no violence? I'm not going to have a moral lecture from you, you mug, because this Muslim lawyer is uh, photographed with every grooming gang rapist from Telford. They're all his mates. Your circle of friends are child rapists, you mug. Yeah? White child rapists with white little English girls. So don't try and lecture me, least of all, when every video I've made is appealed for calm. You're all being fooled to the Muslim community. There ain't no EDL demos, yeah? You're being whipped up purposely by a government. 
who wish to whip you up for violence on the streets. They've got all these little telegram chat groups of Nazis, apparently, now. Yeah? That's to discredit the genuine British voice who's sick to death of the immigration into our country. And people are upset, scared, upset, angry, all of it. Yeah? So our problems with the government, the establishment, People ain't marching into your areas in Walthamstow and all these different places, you're being lied to. So they're going to re get you out on the streets, you're going to get angry, and then innocent English people are going to get attacked like they have done across, across the country, like in Birmingham last night. But don't worry, you probably won't get arrested because police don't enforce the law against you. But they're whipping you up, okay? 